talking about um, Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe. Um, so basically, has she, do you feel, given her passport back um, yesterday, is she a step closer towards freedom? Yes, I think she is. So uh, she was called over the weekend of, from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and the Ministry of Intelligence to come in for questioning. As you can imagine, she was quite apprehensive, wasn't sure what to expect. And then when she went in, there was a long line of questioning and some scare tactics as she described it. By the end of it, they handed her British passport back to her, which was astonishing because bear in mind, she hasn't seen her British passport since the 3rd of April 2016, six years ago. Scare tactics then, was she able to give you any details? And Go on. So after, after six years of campaigning for her, we've had lots of false dawns, but it does feel like this is more hopeful. She is technically on a travel ban at the moment because she served her five-year sentence. Then she had another year sentence, and then she's technically on a travel ban now. And they did say when she was leaving the offices of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard not to book her own flight. So I wouldn't say that I'm absolutely certain she's arriving in the country imminently, but I can say that it looks more hopeful than it has in the past six years. Do you think that is then? There's lots of reports swirling around, at least in Iran, of a possible deal having been done between the British government. We've paid for her, government. haven't we? We've bought her for four hundred million pounds. Yeah. So this debt that we owe Iran is a historic debt dating back to the 1970s. It's a debt that we owe Iran legally. We went to the international courts. The tribunals ruled that we owe Iran the money. So forget Nazanin. Regardless of Nazanin, we still owe that money to Iran. We challenged it in the courts and the verdict is that, yes, legally we owe Iran the money. So. If you're asking me if we should be paying the money back, well, if you owe someone money, you probably should pay it back. So Iran has been asking for that money for the last over 40 years now. It sounds like there's been some movement on the debt because I don't think they would have sent a British negotiating team to Tehran if there hadn't been some movement on the debt.